Today we're going to teach you how to install an APK file on your Android device. That's when the file is not available on the Google Play Store and you need an older version but they don't offer it on Google Play. Uh, once we have the ability to actually access the phone's SD card from the PC, which we have to stick. This is an older phone. It'll be very similar to this because I want to set this up as a media device. So I want to see the, the drive on my PC. So we make sure this is checked off. This is a Note 2, so it's a lot older. So if, most likely your phone, if you're doing it on a newer phone, will have that technology. It'll be something different, but you just want to make sure that you can see the drive on the PC side. Once you have that ability, it'll come up under your computers, under your this PC if you're running Windows 10, and you'll see the phone name under your drive settings. So now this happens to be the phone. This is an old Samsung Note 2. And as you can see, the phone is located here. And we're actually in the drive itself. So if you, this is how it will show up. Here's the phone. Here's the SD card. You double-click the SD card. And those are the files that are in on your phone. And this is where your pictures would be located. So what we want to do is, since we generated that folder with the APK file in it, which is here, uh, this file will be in the description to download it, so you can have it. Um, so that's the file that we want to install. So we simply just copy this and paste it in the phone, on the SD card on the phone. Once this is done, then we can continue with the, the rest of the installation of the APK file. So we go to the Play Store, and you download this Easy Installer app. Install this. And once this is done, you open it up, and it will find the file that's on the SD card, which is this. My client is in the need for having a cute, their video surveillance program, but they updated it, and, and version 4.0 is not available any longer. So I needed it. So we simply hit checkbox, hit install, and obviously all the warnings about what it can access. You do the installation, and that is it. And you're done. You can uninstall the easy installer. There's no reason to keep it on there any longer. And then at this point, you just install the necessary, um, this happens to be my house, then you just install the necessary um, server information and you're good to go. That's how you install an APK file on your Android device. Hey guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you.